Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II offers improvements over its predecessor, making it more comfortable for shooting while maintaining its compact size and capable performance. The G7X2 is built around a 1-inch type CMOS sensor, giving it better image quality than a small sensor compact camera or a smartphone. The built-in lens is a fast f1.8 to 2.8, 24-100mm to zoom, providing a lot of reach and decent low-light capabilities in a small package. The tilting touchscreen LCD makes it easy to set up and take your shots from any angle, making it ideal for selfies or street photography. The image quality, especially color rendition, is excellent on the G7X2. Its fast burst shooting enables you to capture the action. The grip is comfortable in the hand, and the control ring around the lens can be set to smooth or clicky, making it useful for both photo and video shooting. Our criticisms of the G7X2 are a relatively disappointing battery life and slightly mushy fine details in JPEGs. Overall, the Canon G7X2 is a well-designed enthusiast compact camera that can capture good quality photos and videos. This pocketable camera is a significant improvement over its predecessor and sits near the top of its class. For more information about the Canon G7X2 and all things photographic, head to dpreview.com. The Fujifilm X100F is the company's latest fixed lens camera and the fourth iteration of the X100 series. It features the same 24 megapixel sensor as used in the X-T2 and X-Pro2. Casual shooters and advanced amateurs will appreciate the revamped hybrid autofocus system with a larger phase detection autofocus area, expanded range of film simulation modes, and improved ergonomics. The X100F features the same sharp, fast 23mm f2 lens as its predecessors, and the same hybrid electronic viewfinder. However, the improved image sensor results in more detail in still images and video. The X100F also gains a third customizable control dial on the front of the body. The new autofocus joystick on the back of the camera makes it easy to select from the 91 available autofocus points. Overall, the X100F takes some of Fujifilm's latest imaging technology and puts it in a classically styled camera body with excellent ergonomics and control. For more information about the Fujifilm X100F and all things photographic, head to dpreview.com. Hi, I'm Richard from DP Review, and this is the Sony RX100 IV. It's the latest in the company's range of large sensor compact cameras. And like its predecessor, it has a 24 to 70 mm equivalent zoom. Usefully, it has an f1.8 to 2.8 maximum aperture, which makes it really useful in low light, despite its rather modest zoom range. But the big news with this latest model is its fast sensor, which allows features such as 4K video recording. The body is the same as the previous models, meaning it's small, but perhaps a little lacking in external controls. This is made worse by the limited control over the function of the dials. However, the camera offers a lot of customization, so it's possible to tailor the function menu and several buttons to give quick access to your favorite features. The faster sensor helps make the RX104 very responsive, and also appears to significantly improve the autofocus performance, both in terms of how decisive it feels and how well it'll focus in difficult, low-contrast conditions. Continuous autofocus is surprisingly capable for a compact camera too, though don't expect miracles. General subject tracking can be somewhat inconsistent. On the other hand, the camera's IAF system that attempts to track and focus on the subject's eyes is particularly impressive. The video is also significantly improved, adding 4K capability and 1080p shooting at up to 120 frames per second. Together with very effective image stabilization, you can get some compelling footage. And no line skipping means it's really detailed footage. There's also a high frame rate mode that shoots at up to 960 frames per second, creating slow-mo video down as slow as 1 40th of the original speed. The RX104's image quality isn't significantly changed compared to the Mark III. The JPEGs feature more subtle noise reduction, but other than that, it's pretty similar. This is no bad thing though, since the RX100 series have the largest sensors available in a pocketable zoom compact. And the camera's lens is consistently sharp across its whole zoom range, meaning you can use it to its full capability. For us, the autofocus, and in particular the well-implemented IAF system, along with the video features, make the Mark IV a worthwhile upgrade over the Mark III. 
though these capabilities do come at a cost. The user interface, for instance, is somewhat overwhelmed by the sheer number of features you might want access to. But overall, this is without doubt the most capable compact ever made.